Hi, welcome back to CVN305. We are really, uh, we need to decide on how uh, directions of uh, torques and things like that work so that we can actually do a clean job in terms of converting our, uh, our physical picture of a, of a tube which is under torque to a mathematical one. So, okay. So the key point is the following. So I want you to remember this key point. For external torque, and angles of twist, counterclockwise directions along the shaft Or positive. And I have shown the picture there so that you can see what I mean by counterclockwise direction. That's the direction of your thumb when I put it up there. So that is the picture. Okay. So please remember counterclockwise directions are positive. So what does it mean? Suppose I have a shaft. So here is the here's the bar. Okay. And I first thing I do is I um, put out a coordinate system. So I want to call this not X but L because I want to say the coordinate the coordinate goes along the length of the shaft. Okay, so this is L equal to 0. Maybe this is L equal to 3. This is L equal to 5 and so on. Okay, suppose I tell you that torque external torque at L equal to 3 is 20 Newton meters. That's all I tell you. So according to our convention, that means that this is counterclockwise along the shaft. So what it means is that my fingers are like that, right? And my thumb is like that. So that means the direction is that way and it is 20 Newton meters. On the other hand, if I said it was minus 20 Newton meters, at L equal to 5, that means it's coming out like that. Can you see that? It's opposite direction. So notice which way the arrows are pointing so that you can see that one is the opposite direction. That's clockwise. Sorry, I should have been careful. That's clockwise. Okay, so if I look around, my now my finger my thumb is here okay my fingers are wrapped around that way that makes sense to you so this tells me which way to point the thumb sorry which way to point the thumb and that tells me what's the value okay so that's clear right same way if I now say that the angle of twist, so let us say at phi equal to phi at L equal to zero is zero. So that's no problem. That means L equal to zero is fixed as far as twist goes. Then I'm going to say phi at L equal to three is 0.1 radian and phi at L equal to five is minus 0 0.2 radians. What does it mean? It means the following. So here is the shaft and what it means is that this one is getting twisted counterclockwise by about 6 degrees this one is getting shifted clockwise by 2 degrees so it's going like that 0 0.2 radians which is about 12 degrees so this is approximately 12 degree rotation Okay, that's approximately six degree rotation that's going counterclockwise. This is going clockwise and it's decided by our right hand rule. Is that clear? So I'm going to call this phi of L. So our definition is the following twist equals 
phi l2 minus phi l equal to l1. So, twist always refers to differences in rotation. So, think of it this way. If I took a shaft like this and I rotated it rigidly, yeah, both sides are rotating, but there's no twist, right? When will twist occur? When I have this. So, I have the shaft here and when I twist it and you can see that one of them has to rotate relative to other. So, remember, twist is relative rotation. Okay, so I want you to remember that. Excellent. So, now we got that. And now we come to the next uh, complicated thing, which is what happens inside the shaft. So, sign convention inside the shaft. This is a problem. Why is that? So, imagine I have the shaft right and I cut it somewhere. So, if I cut it, so the first shaft will look like that. That's the cut shaft. The second shaft is going to look like this. That's the other piece. Right? If I cut it, now the nose or normal, first thing to notice is that I have to figure out which normal because I don't know which surface. So, I have to first say, when I say internal torque equals 20 Newton meters, I have to know which surface am I talking about. Am I talking about the torque on this surface or the torque on that surface? Newton's third law will tell us the torque on each surface, torques must be equal and opposite. So, what happens if the torque on this side is like this, then the torque on that side will be the opposite of that. So, it will look like that. Can you see? Opposite. So, what do we do? We just look at this and we say, okay, fine. In this case, we are going to stick our thumb. So, I am going to draw this out a little bit, then you can see. So, I am going to draw this like that. Stick your thumb out like that. So, like that and then your fingers I am kind of drawing. So, here are your fingers. And this is right hand rule. That's our notation. Okay. So let's see if we can figure it out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna draw this in some clean way. Here's our nice figure. So for external torque, and twist, and sorry, and rotation. This is positive, that's negative. Can you see that? So, if I give you 20 Newton meters, it should look like this. Minus 20 Newton meters, it should look like this. For internal ones or cross section torque, this one, so if I give you cross section torque is 20 Newton meters, then this one will be 20 that one is also 20 and you can see that our arrows are now along the normals. That's what I mean. So, if I tell you that the cross section torque is minus 20, that means on this side the torque is going clockwise, on this side the torque is going counterclockwise 20, 20. That make sense to you? So, please remember Inside torques, we decide on the sign by looking at the fingers. Okay, that's how it works. Now, of course, I mean, you might say, okay, what's the big deal? I got it. But when you actually solve a problem, this is a little bit tricky because everything depends upon the axis. The last item I want you to remember is the following. When I use my torsion formula,
The way to use it is the following. I'm going to say phi 2 minus phi 1. So I have a shaft. This is my location 1. That's my location 2. This distance is L1. That distance is L2. That's my coordinate. Okay. So I'm going to write it with our new torsion notation. So it says phi 2 minus phi 1 equal to t times L2 minus L1 divided by g j. So notice all the signs everything will work out. So for example let us look at a particular one if phi 2 is 0 0.2 phi 1 is 0 0.1 then L2 is 5 L1 is 3 let us say gj is 1 then what happens phi 2 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 equals t times l2 minus l1 is 5 minus 3 divided by 1 so that gives me 0 0.1 equal to t times 2 that means t equal to 0 0.1 divided by 2 which is 0 0.05 newton millimeters let us assume this all mm okay so what happens is what does it mean so if you have to draw this notice it says the internal torque is 0 0.05 what it means is that if my shaft is like that so this is l equal to l l1 this is l equal to l2 so what does it say torque is 0 0.05 so that means the nose is like this so it's going counterclockwise along the nose this is 0 0.05 and on this side the nose is like this so it's going like that 0 0.05 notice that the directions are automatically adjusted okay if i flip the directions this will flip and everything will work so please remember you have to use to be safe yes it looks like tl over jg but it's really delta phi equal to t delta l over j g j can you see that it's not tl over gj really it's t delta l over gj okay and it's always p2 minus v1 is t times l2 minus l1 divided by gj okay thank you